Hello everyone, this is going to be an Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial on how to use chroma key, green screen, color king, whatever you like. <clears throat> but this is what we're going to do. We're going to start a new project and we're going to call it color key. To keep it simple, I'm going to store this particular one in my uh, expansion drive and I think I'm going to name it color key. Or, uh, color toot for color tutorial just like that and then we select the folder so now all of my files will go into this uh, folder here I'm going to have <clears throat> I'm gonna keep all the defaults okay as far as that goes all scratch disks this is where the different temporary files will be saved okay which is in my J drive okay and I'm gonna click OK <clears throat> Just like that. Now I have already prepared a uh, a video that I'm going to use of my beautiful baby girl and a background that I want to put on. Okay, so I'm going to be dragging this onto the project, into the project. Okay, we'll go ahead and select OK, and uh, so I'm going to drag the video. Oh, let me see here. Uh, speakers output. I'll use my headset that I'm using, and we'll be good there. Okay, so I'm going to drag this, and I'm going to take, and I'm going to drag it right onto the timeline there, and you'll see that it should be imported into my library or my media browser here somewhere. Now. The idea is, is that this green screen background that I originally recorded the, the video on is I want to get rid of that background and replace it with this picture here. Let me show you this picture. See this cool picture? I want that in the background behind Faith. Okay. So what I need to do is I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to drag it into this top line okay just to show you something here now you notice this is in the top line if I hide this by clicking the eye I'll be able to see the 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 video behind it but the idea is I have to take this and drag this up to the next line but I don't want to move the sound or anything else so I'm going to lock everything down here and then just drag that video thing and put it up there and then I'm going to drag this image that I want to use for the background and put it there and then of course drag it down this way so it'll be throughout the video now I'm going to go ahead and lock this because I don't want to work with that I want to work with the video now and I want to go to the effects and I just gonna type in color here okay and yet none of this none of this I want this color key you see that I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna take this eyedropper and I'm gonna grab this shade of green I'm gonna increase that and you'll notice you know it starts taking away but once it starts taking away her hair that's no good for me right because I need her hair in there Okay, so one of the things that I'm experiencing is that there's a lot of different shades of green in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up this color key. And in fact, I'm just going to take it out for now. And I want to use that ultra key. So let me just type in key down here. And you can see ultra key. So I'm just going to double click on that. And I'll grab my color, get something close by faith, but yet far enough away. And you can see that that takes out the background pretty nicely. Okay, so it's going around. We're still getting a little bit of uh, you know edge here, so we can uh, uh, work with these settings a little bit. And instead of default here, I'm going to use maybe aggressive. And I can see I still got some more in there, so I'm going to have to go to a a custom type of mode. So I'm going to increase my choke to 20, and then uh, soften. Maybe I'll increase that to 20. And then my contrast, maybe I'll increase it to 30. You can see it's starting to come out a little bit more. So maybe go 55 on the contrast. Um, let's go 40 on the choke. And soften. Okay, let me see here. So I might find in the, the 
we need to put that. Let's try that at 100% choke. Okay, check 200%. Okay. So, and you can tell that the skin tone, the skin color is coming out really good too. So what I could do is on this side here, now Faith moves quite a, a bit around on this video, okay? So we, I could s constantly see that this continues to come up and I could see some other areas here, like right here, I'm getting some more. So let me, let me try to, uh, let me try to increase that co contrast again here. Uh, a hundred hundred percent is is all got. Okay, let's try this midpoint. Uh, let's try seventy seven. Try it a little bit more. Maybe try it at hundred percent too. And you see, I, I'm getting a little bit more out of there without losing my sub subject. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I get that. So now I could actually crop out this little piece right here. And the way you do that is just good. Come down here, type in crop, just like that, and then. When you bring the crop up here, you see the right. See, I want to bring that right, Evans. Did you see how that disappeared? Now what we got to look for is where the subject is going over there. Okay, and it doesn't look too bad. But that's that's how you do it. And and now you got the the background that you want on it on the video that you want. So here's the way it looks. <laughs> So you can see a little bit back farther here where her shadow's in. You know, I'll have to work with that a little bit, and I could do that with some color keying. And then she goes off. She starts moving and twisting around and doing these different things. So let's see. So what I'll do is I'll just go through this video and where I find those little things is, you know, I'll go in there and I'll try to uh, uh, maybe color key them or use another key. But if I'll go down here and just type in color just like that. And there's another one. There's another keying effect here. You can type in key, probably get there faster. Here, let me just do that for you. Just type in key. Just double click, click this color key and you hit that and, oh. Sorry, you want to hit the the, uh, the the eyedropper, and then you want to uh, you know come in here and increase its tolerance, so you can try to get the very best that you can. So, then you just have to fool around. You could actually you know erase stuff frame by frame. But uh, like I said, whenever I took this video, she was a little bit too close to the green screen, so you might not have this trouble. So if you use that ultra key for the chroma key, you'll probably get a, a really good effect. And I just like the, the fact that the skin color stands out and, uh, you know, she's really radiant with it. Okay, this is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has helped somebody out with the color key in Adobe Premiere Pro CC.